quite excited today because I've got a, a new beer from a brewery that I've not had before, but I've heard lots about. This is the Colonel, and this is a pile out with Nelson Sorvin, Citra and Vic Secret, coming in at 5.2%. But what's it going to be like? Keep watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today, we are going for the big one. This is a 500ml bottle of beer that costs just about £3.20, and it's by The Colonel. Now, The Colonel, I've heard loads about. They're a London brewery. They're based in SE16, so I think they're probably Bermondsey, Rotherhive, that sort of neck of the woods, uh, in, right in South East London. And I'm, I know quite a lot about that part of the world because I used to live in Rotherhive many, many years ago. Um, it's a cracking place in London. It's a really good place. It's sort of the southern Docklands, um, home of where Michael Caine was born and all that. But there's a there's a Bermondsey sort of beer mile, I think it's a beer mile, that runs from pretty much Rotherhive all the way up to sort of London Bridge. Uh, and it's one of those sort of things that, you know, on my bucket list of things to do. Um, and I'm sure the Colonel are right in there. I know uh, Brew by Numbers, I think they've got a play, they've got a, a bar there. And I think even even at Cloudwater and Manchester, they've got a, a, a bar there as well. So I'm looking forward to that sometime. It may even happen this summer. And if it does happen, we'll bring it to you on this channel. But this is the Colonel's beer. Now, all their beers are in bottles. All their beers have this sort of brown unassuming sort of label it hasn't even got a name really it's just called it's just a pal hour and then it tells you the hop so they don't have names in it and it's in a bottle and a lot of craft beer these days is canned so i'm interested to see what this is like so let's crack it open and uh drink it that's what we need to do so yeah i mean yeah I, I, i'm not quite sure why things are in bottles opposed to cans but this certainly looks the business so it's a pal hour 5.2 percent it's a hazy parallel. We've got a two-finger head. It's fairly compacted, actually. For a parallel, it's it's a little bit more compacted. It looks, it's in the, to me, it's more yellowy, but you've got a slight sort of orange, more deeper orange colour. There's a haze, but it isn't like your sort of thick IPAs, as you'd expect. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's see what it smells like. Well, I'm not picking up hardly anything in terms of aroma. There's a slight citrus aroma, and that's about it. Very little else, so let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Hmm, it's a strange one. For me, it's got a very, a much more sort of traditional parallel, the sort of parallels that I've had in pubs and stuff from sort of more sort of macro breweries it's got that sort of flavor i'm not picking up those individual hops like the nelson sorving with very distinctive new zealand hop but i'm not really picking up with this it's light it's it's, it's reasonably soft for a palo it's not as carbonated as a lot of palos I think the disappointment is that there's no real big punchy flavours in there. It's got a slight citrusy sort of flavour. But apart from that, it's very traditional. In the fact that it almost tastes like an ale opposed to a, a palau. Uh, it's not like a modern palau where you get, you know, sometimes these modern palaus, they can be a bit sort of creamy a little bit more sort of softer they can have big hits of citruses or so stone fruits tropical sort of notes i'm not getting this with, with with this beer at all and although it's got the likes of nelson sorvin it's very it's not very it's which is a very distinctive hop i'm not really picking it up with this and in terms of citra vic secret No, I'm not really picking up much. There's a slight citrusy twang. For me, it's got quite a nice sort of mouthfeel to it for a parallel. But but it's also got this sort of earthy sort of slight bitterness, dry bitterness really on the back end. It doesn't taste like a, a sort of modern craft beer parallel to me. It's very traditional for me. 
not that he's bad, but it, but I, I, I don't know. I, I think my expectations were greater for this, and I'm a little bit disappointed. Nelson Sorvin, I'm not picking up those grape flavors at all. Vic Secret, which you can sometimes get the pineapple, the tropical notes. I'm not really picking up that as well. Citra, yeah, there's citrus fruits in there, but again, not much tropicalness. It's very drinkable, but doesn't doesn't dance or or sing on your tongue. That's that's the problem with it. It's not bad though. But let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for the Colonel's Palau with Nelson Sorvin, Citra and Vic Secret. A little bit disappointing because you can't pick out those individual hops. First things first, aroma. Well, for a Palau even, there's very little in terms of aroma in this. It's it's It, it doesn't sort of get those, you know, taste buds going. Doesn't, it's not inviting. It's... It's just, there's a slight sort of hint of citrus fruits in there, and that's about it, mainly lemons. I'm giving it a 10 for aroma, a little bit disappointed. Appearance-wise, well, it, appearance-wise, I think it's good. It's got this sort of, the, the head, we've got one finger of head left there, but it's it, it's very sort of compact, and it sort of sits there really nicely. It looks really nice in the glass. We've got an orangey sort of, yellowy hazy sort of beer but but for me i think it's it looks good just because you've got this nice layer of, of of head there and it sort of sits there quite well so i'm giving it a nine for appearance flavor wise mouthfeel wise for a pile out it's very good soft gently carved but flavor wise you can't pick out nelson sorvin you can't really pick out vic secret even Citra, there's a slight lemoniness about it, which Citra has that sort of citrus fruits, but it also has tropical notes. I'm not picking up anything tropical from this. I'm getting a very traditional parallel in terms of flavour. It's almost like a sort of, uh, you know, a more traditional ale with a citrusy sort of undertone to it, but it's quite subtle, even that citrus flavour. So it's not bad, but it doesn't really do anything amazing. I'm giving it 32 for flavour. Value for money. Well, it's a 500ml bottle of beer and it's £3.20. I think that's pretty good value for money. When you, even when you compare it with like supermarket parallels, that's that's pretty good value for money. Um, so I'm giving it a nine for value. And my overall experience, well, I think I expected a lot more. I heard a lot about Colonel and I was, because I because I like Nelson Sorvin and Citroen Vixie. There, there's some really good hops in there. But I'm not really picking them out. You know, you don't get the flavours from them. It's a very traditional in terms of its parallel. More redeeming feature is the fact that it's quite a soft, um, just nicely carved parallel. Some carved, some, a lot of parallels can be a little bit overly carved, but this is just spot on in terms of its, its carb level. So I'm giving it 12 for overall experience. I think just because I was a little disappointed, high expectations and I, I'm left walking away from it going, I don't know if I'm going to be overly wanting to buy more stuff from Colonel again, because I just, I'm not getting the flavours, I'm not getting the hops come through. So 12 for overall, and we top those scores up, and we get, well I've written it down, I can't even read my own writing, uh, 19, uh, 51, 60, 72, total score 72. So it's recommended just, but it's, it's at the low end of that. Yeah. Ultimately, I'm a little bit disappointed with the kernel. I've heard much really good things, but you could have just called it a pile out without putting the hops on there. And I think it's just that I can't pick out those hops at all. It's like a pile out that you would get from a, a pub, a more traditional, from a more sort of maybe more of a macro type of brewery than a craft brewery. A little bit disappointed. Um, so 72 out of 100. Oh, it's okay but let me know i mean maybe this is just a bad kernel if you had a kernel beer before that's that's worth trying I, I i'm just it just annoys me a little bit that you put the hops on there and you don't, you don't get those flavors that you expect from those hops the grape gooseberry that you get from nelson solving and no nothing and we're nowhere to be seen in this beer so a little bit disappointed so i hope you enjoyed this video and until the next one you know what we're gonna do keep on rocking